Hey everyone, this is MikeBen96 here with Wohotech.com. Today I'm going to test the speed of Safari in iOS 4.2.1 and then in iOS 4.3. So at the Apple keynote on March 2nd, Steve Jobs went over some new features in iOS 4.3. And one of those new features is the improved JavaScript engine. The JavaScript engine that is in iOS 4.3 is the same engine that runs on Macs. So this should make pages with JavaScript content which, by the way, is a lot of websites, to render much faster. So we're going to test this by opening a few websites that have JavaScript content on iOS 4.2.1, which I'm running right now, and then we are going to test them on iOS 4.3. And then I will time how long it takes for the pages to fully render. So currently I'm running iOS 4.2.1, and you can tell because in the settings menu, there's no location services in this top little group here. In iOS 4.2.1, the location services is in some other place in settings, whereas in iOS 4.3, location services appears like around right here. So I'm in 4.2.1 right now, and we are going to open up mobile Safari. So the first website we are going to test is CNN.com. So instead of just typing in CNN.com, I'm going to paste the link into here. Uh, because this link will go to the full version of CNN because I want the full version and not the mobile version so we can test the JavaScript. So I'll prepare to go on both the online stopwatch and on CNN. And they are off. I'm going to scroll down so I can see it render. All right, the page is still loading. All right, and it is done. It took 16 seconds, about 16 and a half seconds, uh, to fully load. We will now continue our test on iOS 4.3. So as you can see, I have 4.3 installed because the location services menu is right here. So that's one of the changes in 4.3. So we will go to Safari. And I'm going to paste that CNN link in here. And off it goes. Scroll down to watch it render. All right, so 21 seconds it took. So the next website we're going to try is abc.com. There it is. Get ready to click on it there. Get ready to put on the stopwatch. It is off. Scroll down to so watch it fully render. And it is done at 14, just about 15 seconds. Alright, so we are now going to test ABC on iOS 4.3. Scroll down. Alright, about 16 seconds. It says 16.7, but I, I clicked that a little late, so we'll just call that 16. So the last website we are going to test is WDOK.com. So this is a radio station, 102.1, but it has a lot of JavaScript content. Scroll down to watch it render. Still rendering. And it is done at 33, just about 33 and a half seconds.
So now we will test WDOK on iOS 4.3. Scroll down to watch it render. Maybe. All right, 45 seconds. All right, guys, so as you can see, iOS 4.3 is not that much faster than iOS 4.2. In fact, in my test, I saw that CNN, ABC, and WDOK all loaded a little bit faster on iOS 4.2.1. So those are just some everyday websites that you may go on. Usually websites aren't completely JavaScript heavy. Uh, other than if it's basically like a JavaScript test page or something like that. So these are web pages that use a normal amount of JavaScript. And they actually loaded slower on iOS 4.3. So maybe it's some other things in iOS 4.3 that's maybe bogging down the uh, load time. But that was my test. I tried to make it as scientific as possible. I was connected to the same Wi-Fi network. I made sure I had the same download speeds doing the both tests. So... That was my test, and the results, iOS 4.3 really isn't that much faster. In fact, my tests show that it's not faster at all. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.